right, welcome to our webcast. Today is our uh, second webcast in our series uh, talking about Ajax. And today we're going to build a chat application in less than 60 lines of code, if uh, that's even possible. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we'll do, let me bring up the screen here. Okay, I've created a folder over here, uh, O2, for our webcast, and in it I have a sketch of what we're going to try to accomplish. So, let's take a look at that. Basically, what we want to do is we want to have a uh, area right here for uh, where a conversation will be, and then if you want to add to the conversation, there will be a line here for you to add, and you'll be able to click comment. Okay, so that's basically what our chat application is going to do. Uh, we'll leave it to you to uh, make it more robust and have additional features, things like that. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to create two files. We're going to create one called conversation.txt and the only thing I'm going to do with that file is I'm going to open it up here and I'm going to hit save and so it should just be an empty file. And we're going to create another file and we're going to call it chat.html. Um, let's see, there we go. And I'm going to take both of these files and I'm going to set them to private. Okay, so you can see there's our basic structure. We've got chat.html and conversation.txt. First thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and create our skeleton. And we're going to just call this um, web conversation. Okay, so there's not much to this. This is kind of how I start all of my pages. Um, it gives me sort of a framework to work with. And if we run this program, we get that. So there's not much to it. Um, I want to take this and I want to make it public, not public, uh, I want to make it a start link so that it can be accessible from a public URL. And so let's, let's do that. We'll click make start link on our chat program. And now we've got a public URL. And I'm going to take that public URL, copy it, and I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to paste it into here, and I'll paste it in there, and so now I've got the same uh, page running here, and here, okay? So here's my, my two chat applications, and of course I'll have two of them so that we can watch what happens as we chat back and forth with each other. Okay? Alright, so next thing let's do, it's, uh, let's uh, add our form elements and some styling. So I'll just copy and paste this in here. What we're going to have is a, a conversation area. And then we'll have a div for where a conversation will go, a uh, input for a comment, and a button to submit that comment. All right. Let's see how that works. Okay. So there's my conversation area up here, and my comment goes here. Let's do a little additional styling on this. Um, what I want to have happen is. I want, to, I want that content area to be the same size, so I will add um, some CSS for my conversation. We'll give it a one pixel board, black border with a height of 300 pixels and a width of 300 pixels, a margin of zero, and an overflow of auto. And what that will do is that will, if it does overflow, it will automatically add scroll bars to it. And then my comment will make it a width of 300 pixels, and just uh, we'll, we'll take our body and we'll just set uh, 
background color. So, uh, just a gray color there. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. All right. So that looks pretty good. The height on that conversation is a little too high. I'm going to change that to something that will fit our screen a little bit better. We'll make it 200 pixels. And let's also uh, put a background color for contrast on our conversation. Let's see how that looks. Alright, so we have our basic look to our uh, our thing. Let's um yeah I like to fiddle here. Just put a padding on that. There. I like that. Alright, so now we basically have uh, the look of our application built. Now let's uh, put some functionality onto it. So next thing we're gonna do is we're going to load up our conversation into a Steva. We're going to add our form, we're going to add our overlay, and we're going to save our conversation. All right, so the first thing we need to do is let's uh, pull in our conversation. Um, notice that we have conversation.txt and that's where our conversation will reside. So let's just load that in at the beginning of this. So we're going to copy file equals conversation.txt to a variable called conversation. All right, that loads it up. Uh, next thing we'll do is we'll add our form. And so let's put it right here. And our form action is going to uh, run an overlay called add to dialog, and we'll use method post for that. So let's create our uh, overlay add to dialog. And we'll just have it go to page right now. Okay. Let's see what that looks like before we get too far ahead of ourselves. And I should be able to type something in here and comment. All right. Now I don't have anything happening at this point, but I've got a form that's submitting to an overlay, and uh, now we just need to add our working functionality to it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask the question, when someone submits a comment, we're going to say, okay, is there a comment? Uh, so that's, we say, if my comment is not empty and my comment is not error, then we will copy our conversation to a variable called conversation. Now, if you're watching closely, you notice that we've also, we also have that exact same copy up here. And the reason we need to have it in two locations is when the overlay runs, someone else, somewhere else, may have already submitted another comment, and so our variable conversation may be out of date. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab the most recent copy of conversation.txt. And we're going to put that in the variable conversation. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add to the conversation, and we're going to add from the top, uh, just for this application, I'll leave it to you to uh, make it if you want it to add to the bottom. But we're going to add bracket user num to identify who's adding, who's, who's placing the comment. And then we will add the comment. And then to, the, to this right here. Okay? And then we'll take that conversation and we'll copy it back to conversation.txt so that someone else would be able to grab that uh, changed comment. All right, let's see if it works. Contact hello. Uh, 